Therefore, one who has renounced the fruits of his actions, whose doubts are destroyed by transcendent knowledge, and is situated, and who is situated firmly in the self, is not bound by works, O conqueror of riches. Again, doubts. You know, generally in schools, colleges also, teacher after classes, any doubts? Any questions? You know, generally the end of the classes only, any questions? And nobody asks. College, nobody asks a question. If somebody asks a question, everybody becomes so angry at him. <laughs> Why you have, to, <laughs> you have no other work? <laughs> but it's not like that because that is superficial. And you are studying, I keep again and again repeating how to turn iron. Knowledge is also not very interesting. But in the spiritual knowledge, it should not be superficial. In fact, we have an example, very interesting example. Uh, we have a Vidura. You know, Vidura did not fight the Mahabharata war. Rather, he left just before some incidents with Duryodhana. He just left. He was insulted at Duryodhana. He was advising Tatarashtra, you know, get rid of this boy. And actually, had he done that, he would have saved right before his birth there was inauspicious symptoms when previously people were known uh, the sign they can take an indication they were ferocious indications <laughs> when he was born so he said by that get rid of the son get rid from the day one and to the before the war when again he was stubborn he said that see why you have to you are the king still you know uh, Dhritarashtra you have still the powers just just tell him to get out just disown him, get save the whole dynasty, and you save everything. But no, he could not. He could not say anything. You know, he was too attached to his son. That was the cause of the whole nepotism. And here, uh, Duryodhana, when he heard, you know, Vidura criticizing him, he said, "This son of a maid, maid servant." You know, he insulted him very badly. Actually, he was a he could have taken his Yama Danda and finished him there. But he is, you know, he has to play his role. Lord has given him some service, so he's focused on that service. So he doesn't become angry. Rather, he just leaves the, you know, he could have lifted his bow. He knew archery, he knew, because he was part of the palace, he knew. But he said he just kept his bow aside and he just walked out of the palace. What did he do now? During Mahabharata war, was one person who did not participate. He was actually went to the holy places and finally met Maitreya. He met Uddhava first and Uddhava guided him. He got his instructions of Maitreya. Actually, Uddhava is spiritually more advanced than Maitreya. When he talked about, he said, can you tell me something about Krishna to Uddhava? Uddhava almost fainted in ecstasy. Hearing the name of Krishna itself, he was an intense, you know, he was a very, very advanced devotee of Lord Krishna. But he did not speak. He said, see, what do you do? You go and meet Maitreya. Because Maitreya was elder to him by, you know, age and other factors. He said, you go and talk to him. This is called Maryada. You know, so it's like he was very conscious. Even though you know, he, could, he was much more spiritually advanced as an etiquette. He said, no, you, he's in a nearby place. You go and meet him. And then after that he goes to Maitreya and Maitreya and Uddhava were the one who heard the Lord before he departed from the world. So both were blessed. Uh, but comparatively speaking, Uddhava is in a much more uh, advanced and very, very intimate to the Lord. And Maitreya had a good audience of the Lord. I know there is something called Uddhava Gita, the instructions to Uddhava. All that happened in the last when Krishna before departing. And Maitreya was there and drinking also the pleasure. So he also became an authority, spiritual authority. And he addressed uh, Vidura, Maitreya. And Vidura was hearing, hearing and inquiring this, that. That forms a large part of Bhagavatam. 
and then finally he was fully satisfied so that is how it has to be in spiritual life also but at the same time it's gradual it's not that somebody proper says very nicely it's not that somebody comes to us in 5 minute samjho bhagwan kaise aisa nahi hota hai ye to bahut bada subject hai you have to first be pure uh, this knowledge is so pure that is just this knowledge if you have all your papa karma is destroyed because knowledge of krishna and krishna there is no difference so receiving the knowledge is as good as receiving krishna in your heart that's called guru parampara what is guru parampara doing just like you take your electronics you are downloading krishna from the heart of the pure devotee he has krishna and he can see krishna he can feel pleasure of serving krishna's lotus feet correct it is there in his heart and you are downloading from him but he has to have the full file just like in torrent to download half not full no you but here even a small file will work what do you want full file you want fully krishna to be in our heart true there is no limit krishna is unlimited but you know complete realization of krishna uh, so it to handle that file you should also have capacity you know suppose you have heart is so small it has only one bit what you will take file of krishna so you have to also increase your capacity so you have to purify your heart ha huh? just like many times when you want to download a file now this is electronic first it checks whether the system is compatible to that file this is no use so similarly if our heart is not pure we cannot handle it we cannot handle krishna there is no difference in krishna coming to our heart or krishna coming in front of us it is same uh, krishna first came actually in the heart of vasudeva he didn't see he saw krishna in that way correct then from his heart he went to the heart of deviki proper that this is diksha this is diksha it is in the heart so so krishna coming in front of us or in the heart basically we can't handle him now that is why krishna is not coming you know many time people ask this question that uh, show me god so we say there are two problems number one problem is that he is not order your car your order carrier he is not your servant that you order him to come correct okay? Yes, sir. Aajo, boy, Bansuri, leke aajo. He is not your servant to come like that. You cannot say. Can I say that if the Prime Minister of India doesn't come here now within five minutes, I will not agree he exists or not exists. Isn't the demand so stu- similarly stupid? He is a busy person. You know, uh, they don't have time. And will he agree to this? There is some person in Mangalore who is challenging you exist. He says there is no Prime Minister actually. It's all bluff. So if unless you come, you will not agree. You are the Prime Minister. will he care to come so do you think krishna who is krishna first <laughs> first you should understand who is krishna ha uh, he is a controller creator of billions and trillions of universes and much bigger than that unlimited spiritual world he is a chief personality and he has to come like this on your demand he cannot therefore ever understand god by challenging and then the second thing is that Now, but, but in case you have a relationship with him, definitely he will come. True, the prime minister also. Suppose you have a relationship, he may come, correct? Uh, but in uh, it comes to the situation. Uh, second point is that are we qualified? Because we are we are limited in so many ways. Are we qualified? So this is not a qu- proper uh, question. Uh, show me God. and everything people say show me show me show me proper is a disease uh, this kind of mentality uh, everything requires i explained that so many time it requires some kind of cooperation if you want me to understand how this mic works and suppose i am an engineer you have to cooperate with me no then i can teach you you say show me one second to take some time i have to teach you so many things <laughs> teach you all electronics what is audio how it works i have to teach you so many thing it will not happen in 2 minutes time <laughs> So same way, Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, "Bhavo gyan tapasa puta mat bhava magata ha, vita rag bhaya krodha." Uh, in this process of Krishna consciousness, you become free from this shortcomings of attachment, fear, and anger. Vita rag bhaya krodha, manamaya mamu pashita, and we take shelter of Krishna. Bhavo gyan tapasa. Many many people in the past, by cultivating gyana and tapasya, what they are cultivating, knowledge and by tapasya these two things you have to do you have to cultivate knowledge and you have to do the activities which are prescribed 
We say you hear Bhagavad Gita or you read Bhagavad Gita and every day chant Hare Krishna. By jnana and tapasya, two things are needed. Bahavo jnana tapasya, the proper says two things are needed. One side you try to cultivate knowledge of Krishna consciousness, other side control the senses, other side do order devotional activity, tapasya. So both jnana and tapasya will make us develop and then our faith will develop. Bahavo jnana tapasya, Bahavo means many people in the past by cultivating knowledge and austerities, puta, they became purified. Mad bhava magata, they could fully realize me. They could also become fully spiritualized. Okay? So it is not a, some kind of a uh, illusion. It's a standard process. Just like you go to a lab. It's a standard process. Oh, what will happen? What will happen? So many people have done experiments. Why are you are so bewildered? Suppose you go to some small lab and they are doing Newton's experiment, some tuning fog experiment. And you say, what will happen? You are very excited. What will teacher say? Standard thing. You go to a chemistry lab, you're going to put this, put this, something you're doing, standard experiment, which is, you know, in the textbook, it has been done million times. And you're so excited, what will happen, what will happen? Will it happen, will it happen? What the teacher will say? Every day I see it happens. <laughs> what is it, will it happen? So similarly, we should know the process works for anybody. We apply the process, but yes, you know, there is a lab in charge, under his guidance we do. We mess up some things, he will guide us, don't put this, put this first, then you put the. it will work. So similarly, we should not think this is some kind of, you know, mythology. It's a standard process. Therefore, in the Veda, there are three sections, very interesting. Right from the Vedanta Sutra, the Vedic body has three sections. One section is called Samanda. First, you have to understand the relationship. Who am I? What is God? What is the overall philosophy? You can even take it axiomatically, axiomatically try to understand what is it they are telling, the philosophy. Correct? Just like I gave an example, you have malaria, no? eczematically first you understand what he is telling, you have this, 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 this. Then he will, uh, some abhideya, abhideya, process of verification. Correct? He will have some, you take a sample, put on other, and you can see. The same way, process of verification for us in Krishna consciousness is the yoga process. And there are different kind of yoga practices. But in Kali Yoga, we recommend... Hare Krishna mantra chanting is the most effective process. Well, if you are doing something, we are not saying stop. You can do, no problem. Whatever you are doing, Vedic only, generally in India people do. But we are saying, we are not asking people to stop. First of all, we are telling to add. In fact, it is very difficult. Prabhupada says very nicely, he says when he came to America, he was doing only two things. Giving prasadam and chanting the holy name. That's it. Even for giving prasadam, he had no money. He used to have one apple at the end of his class. You heard that? He used to cut that apple into small, small pieces. He used to take one and distribute. That was all. <laughs> Nothing he had to distribute. He had no prasadam to give. He was completely bankrupt in the beginning. And after the end of the class is over, he had a plate in which they used to give one dollar or two dollar. That's it. Nothing more than that. And daily he used to write his book because he had to pay the rent of the place, <laughs> which was some, say, 150, 200 dollar. That also I told you how he cleverly negotiated. So he had some 150 dollars, something. And he will be noting every day, $10 donation. Today, 15 people came, you see his diary, no donation. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Even rent, he did a very funny thing. That one person came, he was quite young. Did I tell about how he negotiated his rent? One person came, he was very young, who was the owner of it. And some of his devotees who organized a meeting, of some followers, there were no disciples at that time. Michael Grant. So they were sitting and then finally he uh, negotiated the rent down to say $210. That was still heavy, but proper took the challenge. So everything starts, with no business started without a risk, no. Without risk, nothing will happen. The proper said, okay, I'll pay you. He didn't know how he's going to pay. <laughs> there is no money, $8 he had brought, that is, you, that is, that is also no use, the $210. And uh, so they were discussing what to do. So they said yes. Then Prabhupada after that, immediately he had brought his three volumes of Bhagavatam which he had from India. And this young man who owned that was a very pious person. He was very respectful to Prabhupada and all throughout the discussion. Prabhupada gave him the three volumes. He said, why don't you take this? So he said, yes. you know, he was immediately overtaken with a kind of gest kind gesture. He said, yeah, that's very nice, very gracious of you. And he saw the books. It is a big, you could understand it's a very big thing he has given him. He wanted to read also. 
Then uh, that talking and all, he flipped few pages as very thanked to Prabhupada. Prabhupada, one thing you can do. We have formed a society called International Society of Krishna Consciousness. Why don't you become one of the trustees? Imagine that's how the first trustees were. <laughs> so he thought for a time and he was thinking and then he said, okay. Because anyway, he was, has been discussing about their activities and all. He said, yeah, I like to support them. I leave one of the trustees. But Prabhupada then says, see, one thing is there. The, all the trustees every month give $20. So we can do one thing. Uh, is it fine with you? So he said, $20 per month. He was a rich man. Finally, he said, okay. You know, he was trapped. <laughs> he said, okay. But then Prabhupada said, hey, one thing, instead of giving $20 to us every month, it will be convenient we can deduct from the rent only. <laughs> That's why he put down, the, just imagine, he, is a, he has been a businessman previous in his life. He is using everything somehow to save his movement, somehow this survives. Then it came to <laughs> whatever, some smaller amount. And devotees oh, who are the followers, <laughs> he is a very intelligent person. <laughs> so anyway, that's happened. And... This is how this movement started. Hmm. So coming back, so Prabhupada, uh, so this is not by, well, it was great effort actually. So doubt, coming back to the doubts, we went, 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 and I'm losing track now. So Prabhupada says a very nice shloka in Bhagavad Gita, come to that, which is my mind. Seventh chapter, the first shloka. What is the shloka, famous shloka? Maya Sakta Mana Partha Yogam Yunjam Adashaya Asam Shayam Samagram Maam Yetha Gyasasi Tashunu If somebody wants to know spiritual knowledge without a doubt, it is only here. Because many messengers have said, I want to tell you so much, but you are not ready now. You are not ready. You are not ready. I have so much. You cannot bear it now. So, Desh Kala Patra knowledge is given according to capacity. Correct? Suppose you are teaching a small child. You see the Patra situation. And that child, what is his capacity? What is his capacity? His capacity is very limited. You will tell him, 2 plus 2, you know, you have to number system, is equal to 4. That also very difficult for him. You know, sometimes small children come, you really struggle. You tell 8 into 9, 72, and he doesn't understand it really work out. And then you again try, correct? Very patiently try. Now you can, definitely you will tell him there are so many things, things I want to teach you now, but you are not ready now. Isn't it? The similarly, in time and situation, the message is given. Actually, all the spiritual messages are correct. We have no doubt in that. But they are given according to Desha Kalapatra. What can be done? That the person can handle. And here you took at Arjuna. Compare, give me a situation like Arjuna. First thing, Lord is personally talking. Question answer is going on. Discussion is going on. Where? It's the only instance proper says, therefore, in the purport here, no doubts will be there if you understand the personality of Godhead himself is giving this knowledge. Where is the doubt then? Prabhupada says very nicely. He said, you accept what Krishna is telling. There are no doubts. We have no doubts. Our doubts are finished. Whatever Krishna says is good, rest all bad. Our doubts are over. Correct? You accept because knowledge is only taken on Shabda Pramana, from an authority. Moment you accept the authority of Krishna, over. That's why I told you many times when they asked Prabhupada, what is the scientific proof that soul is there? Prabhupada said, Krishna is telling. You know, one journalist came to Prabhupada. Swamiji, can you tell us a scientific proof that we have the soul is different from the body? Because Vedic knowledge starts at this point. In fact, if somebody doesn't understand this, he has no knowledge. Because knowledge begins. There is a 13th chapter we are studying on Sundays. Knowledge begins with the point you are able to separate body and the self. Otherwise, there is no knowledge. So he says, can you uh, explain? Prabhupada says, no. It's very clear because Krishna told it. So, Swamiji, I want a scientific proof. What more scientific? Krishna doesn't make any mistakes. Krishna is telling, no, you are not body, you are a spirit soul. Just imagine. We don't understand. This is the most scientific way to understand without any doubts. But people want to understand by their senses... Are you sure what you are seeing even exists? <laughs> Our senses are so limited. Correct? There are some many scientists and philosophers will put you on a spin on that. That is called phenomenal knowledge. We discussed that. You are living in a world of experience. You don't even know what exists outside you. And that's philosophy actually. But here Krishna is speaking who is beyond any illusions, who is beyond any effects of any kind of maya. 
the highest authority if you ex come to this platform that because krishna is the supreme lord and his words are beyond any delusion no doubts and now you take the uh, authority of you know, the situation of arjuna pious kshatriya well trained in gurukul he has full control over his senses because he said i am ready to beg prapa said unless somebody can control his senses he cannot even make a statement like that correct can you make a statement i am ready to go and beg in the street no that means his mind and senses are under full control he is ready for any embarrassing situation for his you know decision he is in a very and he is crying out of compassion he knows he is such a powerful warrior there going to be a holocaust now if he lifts his bow he is checking again to krishna you know a great man think 10 time before doing such an activity uh, i gave that many time before that joke if i give you a bomb which is as a nuclear bomb and you stand in chickpeed you about to throw it or say in mangalore and uh, your mg road you want to think 10 times should i throw or not you see all people moving here they are laughing smiling they all will be dead including you <laughs> so same way arjuna is thinking will it be fine if i lift my bow such a great man thinking 10 times cross checking and then he is compassionate tears in his eyes and he is asking krishna can you forgive this score of us let us avoid this whole thing altogether so you imagine how great that person is how great he is ready to forgive and what kauravas are done right from childhood they try to kill the pandavas insult them kill them they have no other business they were envious of jealous of they are all sons you know highly elevated personalities okay and the kauravas are nowhere but they are so envious of them throughout their life they could never accept they are so great they could have always try to kill them and insult them and all 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 but arjuna was instead of all that was asking krishna you know everybody knows the list no what all they did but instead of all that arjuna is saying krishna can you forgive the kauravas so imagine such a great man okay so therefore krishna opens out and says in full i am going to teach you without a doubt in full asamshayam samagram i am going to teach you in completeness and without any doubt so therefore there are three divisions of the vedic knowledge one thing is sambandha you understand the basic relationship i am a soul part and parcel of the lord a tiny servant of the lord god is there as a supreme personality and this material nature is there okay so any philosophy anybody begins this is how we should understand and this is taught in completeness in the bhagavad gita the next thing is uh, sambandha abhideya what is the process of realization bhagavad gita proposes many yoga system karma yoga gyan yoga ashtanga yoga bhakti yoga and acharya prabhupad points out in kali yuga recommended as bhakti yoga in the form of mantra yoga in the form of chanting the holy names of the lord then prayojana when you practice all this thing you realize that you are not body or spirit soul servant of the lord then how do you act sweet relationship in different ways to the lord so this is very organized and systematic okay but it needs us to apply ourselves to the process therefore krishna is telling here therefore one who has renounced the fruits of activity and doubts are destroyed is not bound by works the moment the knowledge of krishna has come to your heart all the doubts are destroyed and not only that you have no reactions to work because you are working for krishna there is no reaction okay at the transcendent knowledge is so pure just by even receiving the transcendent knowledge uh, you become purified and now you are acting in your constitutional position presently you are in ignorance you are acting on your own behalf i'll do this i'll do this activity is done out of ahankara you take the reaction but when you come to reality that i am a servant of krishna whatever act you do there is no karma no karma okay so activity there is no not bound by anything okay free from all doubts by the grace of the transcendental knowledge shila prabhupad ki bhagavad gita ki yeah.